It was 50 years ago in 1972 when UNEP, the United Nations Environment Programme, was established to lead environmental activities for protecting our irreplaceable Earth. Headquartered in Nairobi, Kenya, UNEP is the leading global environmental authority. We are the International Environmental Technology Center, working at our hub in Osaka, Japan. The International Environmental Technology Center, the IETC, is the United Nations Environment Programme's global center of excellence on environmentally sustainable waste management. This year, as the IETC marks its 30th anniversary, the center's work is more crucial than ever. In the 1960s, Japan and Western countries entered a period of rapid economic growth. This brought an era of mass production and consumption, both of which played a central role in the economy. In the 1970s, the development of industrialization and urbanization caused serious pollution, but people's efforts and state-of-the-art technology at that time began to overcome the pollution issue. Meanwhile, as economic development progressed in developing countries in the 1980s, the level of pollution worsened. In 1990, the Garden and Greenery Exposition was held under the theme of the harmonious coexistence between nature and humankind in Osaka. The Japanese government invited UNEP IETC as a legacy of the exposition. IETC was established in Osaka in 1992 with the mission of promoting technologies to solve urban environment and freshwater issues. ま、引き継ぐとともに大阪の環境保全と、え、そういう経験を開発途上国の環境問題の解決に生かす取り組みをま、行っていただいています。SDGの達成に貢献する環境先進都市を目指す、ま、大阪市にとって大変重要なえ
、えー、大都市の中では最も1人当たりのゴミ排出量が少ない都市になったんですねでプラスチックって本当にゼロにすることってなかなか難しいのでいかにこうリサイクルあのバージンプラスチックを使わずにリサイクルさせていくかっていう世界観を持っていきたいと思うんですよね。ぜひこういういな取り組みってまだ本当に始まったばかりなのでぜひユネポさんにも協力していただいてこの循環の輪っていうのを広げてあの行っていただければなというふうには思っております。ITC は廃棄物だけではなくて広くサステナビリティという文脈でユネポのプレゼンスを日本国内で高める活動をしてくださっていると思うんですね。あのプラスチック汚染の問題において IETC の重要な役割を。期待しておりますし、今後も連携させていただきたいと思っております。In this way, UNEP IETC has continued to work together across sectors, and we will continue to strive for a zero waste society so that waste is managed in a way that does not burden the environment, and so that each and every one of us becomes more aware of reducing waste. In 2020, we produce more than 2 billion tons of municipal solid waste on this planet. At least one third of this waste was not managed in an environmentally sustainable manner. Our planet simply cannot bear this load. In terms of pollution, in terms of the depletion of finite resources, in terms of the damage to nature, in terms of climate change, and the impacts to human health. Waste management, or rather its mismanagement, Is part and parcel of what we at UNEP call the triple planetary crisis the crisis of climate change, the crisis of nature and biodiversity loss, and the crisis of pollution and waste. This triple planetary crisis threatens to wipe out decades of progress on sustainable development and poses a clear and present danger to humanity. But the good news is that we know what needs to get done. Our societies must go circular because we can no longer keep taking resources from the belly of the earth and then simply discard it back as waste into the planet. This is a task for everyone for business, for governments, for the finance sector, for civil society, and for us as consumers. And we are seeing some progress. Earlier this year, member states of the United Nations delivered a resounding commitment to begin work on a legally binding global agreement. To end plastic pollution. This is a big step in the move towards a zero waste society. The IETC has played a crucial role in promoting sustainable waste management and technologies to tackle the triple planetary crisis. Building on the last 30 years, the IETC will continue to drive progress on sustainable waste management to achieve a pollution free planet. This includes supporting countries in closing open dump sites, in enforcing global waste regulations and laws, and in promoting lifestyles to reduce waste. An important part of its work will be to include the voices of a wide range of stakeholders, including women, youth, and informal sector workers. Regardless of where we live, what we do, or who we are, we must all take part in shifting towards a zero waste society, and we will look. To the IETC to lead the way. <laughs>